Hi guys, it's Gabe, and welcome back to another video. Sorry I haven't posted in a while because I've been in school and then the holidays and all that other stuff. And I forgot all about my channel. So, this video is going to be for the people who, this is Course D 2019, the if else with B. Let's go, let's go into it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is a conditional block. The code inside a conditional block runs if a condition is true. In puzzles with conditionals, we might want to check a condition like if path ahead. This code will only move forward if there is a path ahead. You can use conditionals in lots of different ways, like this or this. So that was good information. What do you guys think? The answer is A, B, C, or D. Well, I don't think the answer is D. So, repeat three times, one, two, three. That's a flower. If it's a flower, Yeah, I think it's this one. Let's run it. There's a flower there! Whoa. Correct. That's cool. Do, 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 do. I think it's like. Ah! Not what I want. Move forward. Move forward. Turn the right, I think he. Move forward. A flower. Get nectar. Okay, so the right two time. There's nothing there! What the heck? Congrats. Oh my god. Wow! <laughs> JavaScript. Stop, I don't want that, 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 that. Ah! Snappers. See, I have I think, way. We have flower. Mm, okay, honey. Ah! The. Da 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 yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Seven. <laughs> 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 Seven. No. 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 Twelve nine nine nine. I know how to do this, but we need three repeat blocks. One, two, the other six. Ah! What did I do? This one is six. This one is two. So I think we have to do move forward six. Move forward. We only need. 
break. Ah! That is it not gonna be? No. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's... No, I got it wrong. Oh. He's depressed now. He's happy. Happy. No. 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 Nom nom nom. <laughs> pressy pressy. Oh yeah, now it's faster, so now I know that I got it right. Nom. Nom. Wow, you did it. You have finally completed my challenge. And I'm like, yes, I did. I did do that. Okay, we need our... A lot of block. <laughs> no, it's like boom blah block. Like boom blah block or something like that. Boom blah block. I don't like that noise. <laughs> <Ew. laughs> Congrats, Gabe. I'm very smart by doing this. Oh no, next is a video. This is a conditional block. Yep, we know that body. The code inside a conditional block runs if a condition is true. In puzzles with conditionals, we might want to check a condition like if path ahead. This code will only move forward if there is a path ahead. You can use conditionals in lots of different ways, like this or this. 
What if you want something else to happen if a condition is false? Huh? You can use an if else block for that. If else block This for code that. will move forward if move there forward. is a path ahead. Otherwise, ahead. it will turn left. Really? The code will wow. either move forward or turn left, but never both. This is helpful if you want your code to make decisions based on certain conditions. Here are some more ways you can use conditionals in if-else blocks. Yeah, how many subscribers? Oh yeah, I like way more subscribers. I mean, I'm just kidding, but it, like. I cut myself, so I get neck from you. Get neck. Get neck. Get neck. Make honey from nectar. Get nectar from flower. Whoa! Whoa, Buster. Actually did it. Oh my god, confetti! It confetti! I love confetti. What row? row? Rut row, kiddos. This is a brain bender. All you have to do is this. Wait, wait, this is school. Oh my god, my head hurts so bad. Well, um, that's it for today's video. Next video, we're doing lesson 12 Loops with Farmer. 
Peace out, guys.